Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Functions. What exactly functions? If you look at the functions, uh, within the functions, you have some piece of small code that's called a function. So what it does is it can trigger any kind of uh, specified event that you uh, put it in that code, it's going to trigger. That's where the functions will work. So functions basically triggers by a specified a type of event which supports uh, different type of triggers. So when we talk about the triggers, uh, what kind of triggers? It can be HTTP trigger or that has some kind of a you know, code and HTTP request or timer specific by scheduling some kind of code to run or Azure Cosmo DB process uh, processing or blob storage process or maybe queue storage even grid uh, which is responding to even grid events via your subscriptions and filters or even uh, within the uh, event uh, hub you have the high volume of azure events which are you know coming up on your event hub that can you know automatically respond with the help of functions and also service queues and service buzz uh, with the topic or service bus queues can be used to trigger any kind of uh, functions so that's where it's going to use it's not just limited to that it is more uh, into the iot where you can uh, run some kind of uh, serverless applications uh, so that you can use them so let's have a look on it you know what are other uh, features that are available with the azure functions so when we look at the serverless applications functions allows you to develop a serverless applications on microsoft azure cloud and the next feature would be the choice of different languages like when we talk about different languages like you have a c-shop java javascript python powershell all these uh, choice of languages you can use within the functions and also it's going to be pay per use pricing model so i'm going to talk on the pricing in the next slide but it's going to be only what you use it's going to charge for you and uh, there are actually different plans that you have like consumption hosting plan and other things which we are going to talk in a minute in the next slide uh, uh, and here the bringing your own uh, dependencies like function supports your own uh, nuggets and npm and giving you access for your favorite libraries and also you can integrate uh, security it's a fully integrated security that will protect your http triggers uh, triggered functions with uh, oauth uh, providers such as maybe azure active directory or facebook or maybe Google, Twitter, or any other Microsoft, uh, any other security uh, providers uh, for the authentication purpose, you can integrate with them. So your applications can be integrated full fledged, and. Uh, uh, and also when we look at the simplified integration side you can actually uh, simply integrate uh, your azure services as a software as a service offering and also it is flexible uh, in terms of the deployment for continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment for your code through github or azure devops or services or other supported uh, development tools that you have like your own codes also can be used like onedrive or dropbox all that like very similar to your web application because that it is actually built very similar to the web application and also you have the stateful serverless architecture when we say that uh, orchestrator serverless applications with the durable functions can be done here and it's open source when i say open source you have functions runtime in an open source uh, which is available on a github also so let's jump into a uh, conclusion for uh, what exactly azure functions so azure functions is a great solution for your designing to process a bulk data uh, or integrating systems that works with uh, internet of uh, things like iot or building a simple apis or microservices then you're going to use the azure functions so let's jump into the pricing and try to understand about the pricing so for the pricing uh, you have three different models one would be the consumption based uh, plan which will uh, provide you with the uh, necessary computing uh, resources all the time so you don't have to worry about the resources that you're going to manage so you're going to charge for or the execution or the consumption plan only when it comes to the premium it's going to be a little bit of a kind of reserved where you are going to uh, specify a pre-warmed in uh, instances will be available for you so they are always ready for you and uh, when you trigger that function uh, it's going to 
execute in the back end with that additional computation resources that are when it is needed so it takes uh, a little bit of cost and when it comes to the app service plan very similar to your web application service plan if you have the web app uh, or the app services plan you can use that plan so that the cost will be executed in that so let's jump into a quick demo to understand how this uh, can be created here here is the pricing piece that you can uh, compare the plans that you have the premium or whatever the plans it's it's more about the uh, instances that's gonna execute so it will be very less in fact if you just compare the pricing side uh, with a uh, with the triggers all that millions of triggers should be executed or millions of tying the execution time all that so let's jump into the portal to understand how to create this uh, function